Welcome to the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. I'm back again with Dave Ward from the Amazon EC2 team. Welcome again, Dave. Thanks. So what do you, news do you have to share with us today? So we have some exciting new uh, features that are coming out today. Actually, we're launching a new service that's complementary to reserved instances, uh, which allows you to now buy and sell uh, reserved instances. So um, starting today, what you can do is you can actually say, hey, I bought this three-year reserved instances. Now I've been able to take advantage of some of the new innovations that have happened on, on the cloud, and I want to move to a new region, or I'm looking for a new instance type. Uh, or I was able to actually reduce the footprint on this server and I can run something that uh, on a smaller server that's going to cost me less over time. So you can list that reserved instance on the, uh, on, um, using this new feature and then another AWS customer can come in and purchase that. All right, so maybe one use case I could think of, I might be a, a startup and I start out and I buy, let's say I've got reserved instances for, for some larges and then I, um, things are going great for a couple months, and then business is so so awesome. I say I'm going to actually go up to some larger instance types because my application footprint has become larger. I could buy those new reserved instances for the larger instance types, but then I could take the ones for the old larges I don't no longer need, and I can list and I can sell those as well. Exactly. So uh, if you think of a large retail website uh, as an example, you could upgrade your reserved instances to a larger instance type by selling the other ones and buying a new one, or if you have a large retail site, you could go in there and say, hey, I only need a three month, uh, I only need reserved instances for three months. And you could either buy like a one year reserved instance and uh, uh, immediately sell it after that three months is up, or you could go out there and try to purchase a reserved instance for just three months. Um, if I'm selling my instances, do I get to set the price or does Amazon set the price? You get to set the price. Okay, and this is all locations, all regions, instance types? All locations, so all regions, uh, all instance types. If you are, um, uh, as of today's launch, if, if you've purchased a reserved instance uh, associated with tiering, we don't support that quite yet, but we're going to be coming up fairly soon with a way of supporting those reserved instances. Excellent. Well. Sounds like another really customer friendly feature that we have put together here? Uh, it's certainly based on what customers have been asking us for for a while. Yeah, it's, it's great that we talk about being customer driven, but I think there's, there's also this customer responsibility that if there are customers that want things, yeah. it's up to them to actually tell us, right? They, they can email us, they can, they can tweet, tweet about it, they can, they can put it on our forums, but we, we do love all that feedback and I know it gets tossed around the company you know, quite a bit. Absolutely. Okay, well, we're just about out of time, but thanks again for coming. This has been the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr, and thanks for watching.